Got the chicken shoes on. You know what that means. It's chicken time. Let's go ahead and go in here and see if Laverne and Shirley, they're awful skittish. But when we moved the meat chickens out, we moved Laverne and Shirley in here. So they've got a lot more room. There they are. Yes, I see you. I see you girls. So they're getting big, but I can't integrate them into the regular coop until they get more the size of my other girls. Otherwise, they will just be picked on. But we did move the little coop next to the big coop. So they are getting to know each other through the fences. And we should have a little chat. First of all, welcome back to Transplants. My name is Amy and I'm about to do a chicken coop clean out. Um, I would like from you guys though to know what in the heck is going on. A couple things we need to clear up here. Kim and I just started our YouTube in May, towards the middle or end of May. I don't even remember when. It was just kind of an idea. And we've been making some videos and putting those out there. Um, now, you can go back and watch how the videos are doing. And it seems like every time this chicken coop is in a video, it gets the highest numbers of views. However, I'm not getting any questions or comments in the comment section. So if you're just watching on Roku, I understand because I'm, I'm one of those that puts somebody on YouTube on there and the, the TV is playing the YouTube videos while I'm cleaning the house or whatever I'm doing, canning. Been doing a lot of canning lately. Um, but anyways, so I want to know what is it? Is it the chickens? Is it the coops? Could somebody please take a moment and just comment and tell me what it is that's drawing you more towards these videos um, because if it drives you crazy and wild I get it and if I'm talking to other crazy chicken ladies out there um, hello you are obviously of my flock however I want to go into talking about being politically correct we should not accept being called the crazy chicken lady anymore we should be called chicken tenders. Ah, get it? Because we tend to the chickens and chicken tenders are delicious. Okay, enough jokes, enough formalities. Thank you for joining me here on Transplants. And we're going to clean this coop. First, I'm just going to open the door and let everybody out. Um, they get some time to free range in the yard. And I will not be letting Laverne and Shirley, the younger chicks in the little coop, out because these guys tend, especially my rooster, tend to pick on them. They're not quite ready to integrate. They see them as foreign birds. So, come on. Time to clean house. you got to come out. I'm going to use my diatomaceous earth here as a doorstop. Hi, girls. Hi. You want to say hello? Oh, did that make you mad? Okay. This is their dirt bath, which they actually do use all the time. And it is well used and I'm going to go ahead and dump this out and refill it with fresh stuff. So we'll, we'll do that first. Let me move you guys in. A bit here.
Okay, so all that we do for a dirt bath is I'm using some dirt. Pour that in there. And this is wood ash from our wood stove. We burn wood in the fireplaces and I save the ash for a lot of things. I use this in the garden. You use it in the dirt bath for the chickens. And then in this, you can't buy this, well maybe you can, but I did not buy this in a five gallon bucket. This is food grade. I go ahead and get the food grade because it's good for their bath or their food. Supposedly you can deworm your animals with diatomaceous earth. So that way I'm not worried. This is my scooper that I use for their chicken scratch, but I'm not worried about it because it's good if they eat it too. So I'm just going to pour that all in there and then mix it up. They're all excited. Look at them. Yeah, fresh bath, Lainey. What do you think? It's a fresh dirt bath. Yeah. So I'll just get that good and mixed up for them. And when I'm done cleaning out the coop, I'll put this back in its spot. So you just mix it real well so that the ash the diatomaceous earth and the dirt are mixed up, as you can see there. And then I will put the lid back on this. The reason I put my bag of diatomaceous earth in here is because I just want to make sure that it stays dry. And that's probably the best way to do that. Okay, are you girls going to let me clean house? it up. Yeah, we got to clean it up. I know, it's crazy, isn't it? Okay, guys, let me take you inside for a bit. So you can see what I've done here is I've just brought out they have two water containers and one food container and the little silver dish there is for their grit. I like to just keep it separate. Don't know why. But let's go on in here and you can see Okay, now you can see here how I've got the coop set up on hinges. This door does shut. If I ever need to shut that, I can just lower this. And then it will keep, let's just say if a predator were to start bothering us, we would shut this at night. So if they got in here, they have another battle to fight there. But I really just don't close it at all. So it stays open, and maybe in the winter time when I shut their windows down, I'll be able to shut that, and, and they'll be able to stay in there and keep warm a little bit better. There really is no lighting in here for me to turn on, so I'm just going to pull these out. They, these are the way I've got the roost made. It's just a bigger piece of wood a two by four and some natural um, limb off of a tree that I've cut and screwed to the top. I'm going to take these completely out of here. I do have two of those in here. So with these out, I'll hose those off real good. Okay, guys, 
guys, I'm back with you. And let's see if we can put you over here in the corner a bit and see how your your view is. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, as you can see, I've got a wheelbarrow in here now. And Okay, I've just taken a broom after I took my rake, my little rake, and I've shoveled all of the straw with chicken poop into my wheelbarrow here that's just based right underneath there. And as you can see in there, it's pretty much cleared out. I have scooped it out with the rake, and then I swept it out with the broom. And I have swept off the chicken tractor here. Um, sometimes it gets a little dirty also. And now... What I'm going to do is rake up all of this straw on in the run and give them fresh chips and then straw. So, I think the best place for you is probably over here in the corner. So you'll be able to see everything. But, like I said, the little broken handled one works really well. And this, I'm going to get under the ladder first because I'm about to take the shovel that I have the ladder propped with and have to use it as like a giant dustpan. So I do use a scooper like this and use it as a dustpan, just like you would sweeping the floor. Getting pretty full, guys. So what I'm going to do with this full well barrel is just back it out of here, and I'm going to go dump this into a compost where this goes, and I'll be right back. Okay, now you can see they're not giving me much space here. They're free to free range, but. They seem to be more nosy about what I'm doing. But what I've done is cleared out their chicken coop. And I cleared out their run. I went through here and raked everything up. I um, forgot to turn the camera on record. But as you can see, it's all cleared out. The nesting boxes are not bad, so I'm not going to clear those out right now. But now that we've got everything emptied out... I've got one more load in the wheelbarrow that I need to dump, and then it, we will return. Now what I've got here is just new straw that I'm going to flutter about, if you will, on the ground first. And the reason I do this is because when they shit, and when we throw table scraps at them, just anything, it's easier to rake it up when it's been on this straw than to try to rake it up from the dirt. <clears throat> so all I'm doing is spreading that out on the floor of the run, and then we will go get more straw to spread out in the coop. You know what? Before we put the straw up in the coop, I need to go over here and clean our roost. And to do that, I've just added a... It's supposed to be able to turn your garden hose into a pressure washer without dealing with an actual pressure washer. It's not that strong, but it was cheap. That's pretty good. I'm just going to get all that poop off of here. Now you can tell when you do this with one of their favorites. 
over it. Now with that, I will be able to carry that in there and put it back in the coop. So I'm going to go ahead and do that before I move the camera to show you more. You know what, before we even do that though, if you'll notice the one in the front is much shorter than the one behind. This one is shorter than this one. And that is because this is going to go in the back part and that one's going to go further to the front because, let me take you around here and show you. As you can see there, the actual coop, the box that makes the coop, is built with an angled roof. Um, it does have the porch to the playhouse right above it, so it doesn't actually take on weather, but just in case anything leaked, it would just drip down off the back here. So that's why we put the shorter um, perch in the back a long ways and then put the taller one there. Yeah, we have Lorenzo right there checking out the digs. He is just not letting me have my space to clean up the area. So like I said we will put the shorter roost in first. Excuse me. And then the taller one. Let's see what view you're getting. It's getting kind of dark here, so you can't really see everything that I'm doing, and I apologize for that. But the work gets done when the work gets done. And I just spread the hay over the top of the bottom boards and everything. Now I'm going to take you off the tripod here and show you what we've got going on. <clears throat> Basically, if you can see that. There we go. Uh, we've got fresh straw down here. And everything's cleaned up. They are getting a little concerned because it's starting to get dark and I've turned their world upside down basically. But I will stop the video and take a picture here so that I can insert a picture. Okay guys, now I'm going to put their diatomaceous earth back in its spot. I do keep the under the coop inside the run so that if we do have rain there's like three levels of coverage for it so it won't get muddy so we'll just slip this in here and they will probably be happy to have new dirt bath guys well come on Now, I may look really hot, as in sweaty, but it's not because this is a lot of work. It's because it is humid. And as my girlfriend back home said, it's humidity. It's weather you wear, like you wear it. That's what we're having right now. So what I'm going to do is I've got two of these feeders that I had picked up at Tractor Supply, and they seem to work out very well. I keep one inside the coop and one inside the run. I'm going to take both of those 
and their feeder. This is, I put their scratch in this, and I just put this in the run under the ladder area. So again, if we have bad weather, it's not raining into this and making it mush. And then this I'm going to clean up. Obviously, I'm going to go take this all and pressure wash it a little bit, and then I'm take it actually inside and clean it like I would do somebody's dishes. Because um, I try to keep everything really clean, and I put the grit in this and put it next to their feeder bowl in the run. Okay, guys, thanks for uh, joining me to literally clean out chicken shit. Um, like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm not sure what why you guys seem to be more enamored with the videos that this chicken coop is in versus our garden videos and everything else. I'm not complaining. I'm just trying to understand what you guys are looking for. I'm not sure if you want to see how this was built into the playhouse or if you want to see how it functions. Uh, but now you see how it functions. Um, I want to go over the diatomaceous earth in the dirt bath. I get food grade diatomaceous earth because it's safe and it doesn't matter if they ingest it. In fact, some people want them to ingest it and they do integrate it into feed in some animals um, it, to deworm their animals. We don't have a worm issue, but anyways, the dirt bath consists of fresh dirt, diatomaceous earth, and wood ash. Some people use sand also in their dirt bath. Um, I just don't have any clean sand right now and I'm not sure how beach sand with the salt would work for them. Um, it may dry them out or something, I'm not sure, and I'm just not willing to uh, test that theory out on my chicken, so if you know, let me know. Um, the feed that I give my girls, it's a 16% protein layer pellet that I pick up at Tractor Supply, just regular scratch. Um, the grit I also pick up there. You can also use crushed oyster shells that you also, it's being sold right next to the grit at Tractor Supply, or you can order it online. It's just oyster shells literally pulverized into little pebbles. And if you are having problems with your chicken's eggs, with the shell being too soft or breaking too easily, maybe they need calcium and using the oyster shells is a good way to provide that to your chickens. Um, I don't know what else I could really tell you about the chickens, but if you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and a like. Um, thank you for joining me in this video about my chores. This is a little bit weird, but I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to our channel, share with your friends, share with all the chicken tenders you know, and have a good evening. Thank you.